Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron 4 using a special mod called Star Wars Palpatine's Gamble, which is currently still in Alpha, but let us begin with a unique focus. All the way up at the top here with a thousand years of peace. The Republic stood as a galaxy's guiding light, its bastion of democracy, and keeper of the peace for a millennium, and is, for the most part, just as strong as ever. However, there are clouds growing on the horizon. The Senate, always a bureaucratic mess, is growing even more corrupt, and an upstart group of powerful corporations is threatening to break away from the Republic at the same time. Meanwhile, Chancellor Valorum, Current leader of the Republic is facing pressure from all sides of the political spectrum. It seems that the next few decades or even years will decide the Republic's fate in this new age. Get more political power, stability, and worse parts. So as you can see, this is a actual Star Wars mod for Y4, and which actually currently we're losing ooh, 0.28 political power a single day. And I'll be honest here. So with this mod, this is still an alpha. I don't completely understand it yet. So if you guys know how to or play this mod and or understand it, and you have information about tips and or tricks I, I should know about this mod, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I gladly welcome your comments, especially under, into or to better understand how to play this mod. So here we have credits. We've got, oh, we lose 6 million credits a day, almost 7 million. Holy crap, that's not good. Military spending? Oh my goodness. The military costs so much, but really, it's a military factory upkeep. Oh boy. But we are losing political power every single day. We have a lot of national spirits to go through. However, we can get a, a political advisor for now. So since we're losing 0.28 every single day, I want to get Bail Antils. Uh, I'm going to say his name so wrong. But so we get a lot more political power just in case. So now, we're actually not losing any. So that's probably the first thing to know, uh, I guess, regarding this. Finis Valorum, nothing here. But we have the national spirits. Internal corruption, not good. We have Rusin Combat Restrictions. I just... My mispronunciations, ma'am. Rusin Naval Restrictions, not very good. And it hurts our cruiser max cost, which is not good. We have a weakened Executive Branch, not bueno. A Thousand Years of Peace, which is not terrible, but we lose war support every week. We have lower levels of construction. We have decentralized government. We also have Technological Plateau. Uh, unrestricted crime, which is bad, as well as we're a member of the Galactic Republic, which is pretty darn good. But we're going to go, and if I remember correctly, we are on historical, so we're going to go with anti-corruption stance. These filthy capitalist plutocrats have been let off the leash for far too long. It's high time we reined in these greedy corporations and remind them who's really in charge around here. We're already looking at new legislation that will target and punish them for any illegal practice. We can invent, and non-corporations will be pushed further from, be pushed further from secession. Cool. I think I am on historical. I can't remember. I, man, it's been a while since I've seen Star Wars and done stuff. So, here we get, we have to place orders and stuff. Three million credits to purchase the rights to these and dreadnoughts. I'm not exactly understand how this works, but this is really cool, though. And this this mod is still a work in progress, so. What do you actually have over here? Lower secession points, huh? And let's close out of this stuff for now. Uh, shipments. Oh, so we use our political power for more construction speed. That's not too bad. Oh, that costs a lot of money, though. Lobby the pacifists. Well, we're not voting on anything, so we got to keep our PP for voting. Tier up Republic Tech. We need 1,000 million credits. Man, we're losing so many credits today. God dang it. Currently, though, we are building up quite a few cities. And we do own this planet over here, as well as this planet over here for now. And these are uh, central, central annexes are our hangars, which is cool. And we have only Corvettes, which really kind of sucks. We're destroyers, I guess. Really, so. Yeah. Um, can we go to... Well, we can't go to any of these. We can go to partial mobilization, actually. Um, actually, that's not too bad. Wait. Rhydonium capacity? Well, I guess that's our energy, so fuel. Cool. So uh, we might as well just go to here, partial mobilization, since we're here anyway, right? And even though we do need to save some PP, but getting more civvies probably would be pretty good to do and lower our production cost time. So, production cost time. Production time. Electronic mechanical engineering. Uh, let's grab some mechanical computing next. We do have four research slots, which is very, very good. But then we're going to go do maintain galactic peace. Our recent move against the corporations, although certainly justified, has caused unrest throughout the galaxy. We need to send peacekeeping delegations to every region, every rem, every corner of our domain if we want the Republic to hold together, in which the military restrictions set by the Russian Reformation will remain in effect. Corporations and militarists will be pushed further, closer to secession, and pacifists will be pushed further from secession, which is, I guess, not, too, not terrible. And then we have the Nubu, Nubu Crisis. Oh uh, man, I hope we're doing this correctly, and hope I can do okay, because we are not looking good on money. Wow, taxes. How do you get more taxes, or trade, export, spice trades? Oh, military factory upkeep, that's not good. Oh, oh, anti-corruption investigations. Oh, well, this didn't pop up for us earlier. 
Anti-corruption investigations have begun. Certain members of the Republic Senate may be tied in with crime organizations and syndicates. We should divide the senators into different sectors of the galaxy and search for evidence in each sector. Choose which part of the galaxy you believe the corruption may be coming from. The core, mid-rim, um, core world we push closer to secession. Replace internal corruption with reduced internal corruption. So that looks not too bad. And as I get senators from the mid-rim, basically the same thing. Push closer. And every country, investigate sins from the outer rim. Mega corporation investigation. We'll probably do that one. That seems like the most probable. But at least, hey, that's going to look better. Industrial techniques are pretty good as well. As well as older public machine equipment. Um, This is 25% more max factors and say, and more output. But I think this will be just better overall. Let's do that one too. And can we go over here? Actually, we have nothing, something else here. Dockyards. Dockyard upgrades. It wouldn't be terrible. But we don't really need that right now. Um, Reinforce rate, radio. That's pretty tried and true, right? So we'll do that one. Yeah, how do we lose less money? Okay, now we lose 1.6 million a day. Okay, that's a little better. That's definitely a little better. But we have a new boot crisis. Oh, boy. Ah, the Trade Federation. In response to taxation of the trade routes, the Trade Federation has done the unthinkable. Blockade Naboo, one of the most peaceful planets in the Republic and a standard bear democracy in the galaxy. The Senate has broken down into infighting between various factions, and Chancellor Valorum seems to have lost his head in this dark hour. We need a plan of action, and fast. Well, once it does happen, of course. Can we actually do this one as well? No, we can't. Cool. Well, we'll do that one when we get there. We have other ones we can do right now. A vote of no confidence. Well, we need the Nubu Crisis to do that one. The Jedi Order, Nubu Crisis, we need that one. So let's come over here. Infrastructure Development Bill. With the Infrastructure Improvements for a Capital Planet finish, it is time to consider similar upgrades on the strategically important worlds across the galaxy. Introducing the IDB is a first step in this direction, which... Ooh, where is the button for that? So this is... Oh my... I did not see this before. Kuat? Oh my goodness. Bespin? <laughs> oh, where are we? We are... You guys have probably already found it. I probably have not. Rendell, where are we? Duro? Jabim? Sullust. Ah, uh, Sullust. Taris? Yeah, I'm not seeing us. Well, I mean, I guess it's us, technically, but whatever. Well, maybe not. I don't know. And we have the Senate. 78 members, and here we are. We're currently the leader, which is very cool. There's nothing, no voting going on right now, which is fine with us. No Wikipedia? Uh, nope, we're okay for now. Construction! And how do we close? There's, is there an X button? Yeah, there's the Trade Federation over here, and they are led by the corporate faction. Techno Union, uh, Thyfera, Solus, of course, and we have the Pacifist faction, which is very cool, which has Kashyyyk, Naboo, um, Alderaan, Corellia. Nab is that Naboo again? Hey, Naboo's in here twice! Look at that! Naboo is so influential, they have two votes in the Pacifist faction. And then the Outer Rim faction, Bespin, as well as Utapau, which I love Utapau, Bespin. Wait, Bespin. Bespin here twice, and Utapau's here as well. And then we have the Militarist faction, which is pretty cool, with Imperial Malastare. Cool. Sorry, I have not tried this off screen at all, so this, this is my first attempt playing it with this, with this mod, so. Yeah. Cool, I guess we'll have an infrastructure bill. We need a lot of people, though. Hopefully we get some more money. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Income from civilian factories, 1.9 every single day. So we need to get more civvies, apparently. So it's just like TNO. We need more civvies. So, cool. No no crisis here. No crisis. Improve Coruscant's infrastructure. Wait. The set in infrastructure to level 10. Annex. Annex's infrastructure. Holy crap. Uh, through Coruscant flows everything vital to the success of the Republic. Trade and money, politics and orders for our fleets and armies as such. We need to ensure it is capable of handling all kinds of movement, whether physical ships and goods or data and communications. What all this means is infrastructure improvements are necessary. Oh boy. Oh boy. This one actually might not be too bad. It's just that we don't have that many credits to spare. So we need to build, 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 build. 20 and 16 is not enough. Can we buy credits? Of course, hold on. So there's buttons up here. Uh, you can, apparently you have to buy stuff to get some more stuff here or something like that. Quantity 50, place order, what is this? Auto buy is currently off. I don't want to buy anything until uh, we are okay with our money. And with here, oh, galactic outstanding debt, 140 mil, oh. Or outstanding debt, galactic outstanding debt, the treasury. Well, this is the, the money loaning system here, so there's that. And then we have, we can hire bounty hunters, which I really want to hire Boba Fett, or Boba Fett. I love Jango Fett so much, but that's really cool. And then we also have this one, the Senate, of course, that we saw earlier. Cool. And Annex's infrastructure. Cool. And what is this one? 
refreshes the alignment chart once the Raxus addresses the current faction of the said alignment, the chart that does not correspond to the ruling government, while the civil war while nations in the right area with the right government will gain the ruling party support. And then we also have opens a Palpatine mission screen where you can see what mission Palpatine has assigned for you, which is nothing yet, which is fine with us. For now. And then if industrial sector of Coruscant, 45 days. Uh oh. Invasion of Boo. Situation here is not what it seems. There's something else behind all this, Your Highness. There's no logic in the Federation's move here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hopefully, I don't get this uh, copyright struck or demonetized, but we'll see what happens. There you go. Alright. And keep training if we need to. Yeah. Oh, we're not even training any divisions. Well, can we? We cannot train any new divisions. This is not good. This is not good. We don't have enough money for this. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. I already divided up our soldiers up anyway, so... Uh, we don't... Let's go promote this person. Thank you. I'll go offensive. Get more attack. Less organization, lots of moving. Uh, you guys are over here, which is fine. You guys are all just kind of centered around there. Uh, where's Naboo? Naboo's kind of on the outer rim, isn't it? I thought... Where is it? Wait, no. I can't... Oh, yeah, it is down there. Oh, crap. The Gungan Nation. Oh. Um, actually, let's take a look at factions. I haven't taken a look at the factions yet. So, we ha Oh, this is kind of, This is honestly kind of hard to see. I don't know. I wish you could blow it up a little bigger to see stuff, but whatever. The CIS is over there. That's us over there. Um, the five syndicates. CIS, CIS. Gotta love the droids. Galactic. So, we might want to take these guys out first, actually. Push out here and then just defend ourselves over around here or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Where are we at? So you guys have nothing... I'm going to keep these guys here on the planet, the Senate building. Which is weird that it's just marked as Senate building. But whatever. And then you guys... I do want to take out that group as... You know, as a CIS. So I want to take them out as fast as possible. How do you... Hmm. The Techno Union. There's no port down there we can really invade from. What if we did something like this? You guys go from here... And invade. Where's a port? There's only one port up there. Oh, there's one down here too. Cool. You guys do that. One, two, three. Because I do want to take these guys out pretty quickly if we can. And then you guys go from here as well. And go bing, bong, boong. And then three more divisions. Head on from maybe here this time. And go to here. Try something like that. And then you guys... Well... I, I do apologize. I am not very well versed in this mod yet, so give us time. Give me time, and we'll fi I'll figure it out. Over here. Uh, let's see you guys over here. There you go. Just in case. You never know. That radio's good to have, though. Nice. We can do that stuff. Land auction. I haven't done any of this stuff yet. Asymmetric warfare? Superior firepower. Um, I think I'll just go with superior firepower, because that's tried and true, right? You know, asymmetric sounds like a lot of fun. Leg infantry recovery rate? That's not bad. Deep infiltration. Strength in militia. You get more militia, which is not bad. I think we'll be okay if we go spear firepower. Lower succession points. Where is that? Huh. But we have the crisis with vote of no confidence. Chancellor Valorum's ineptitude has been brought into the spotlight for all to see. He has done nothing to protect the starving people of Naboo and has even condemned the Trade Federation's despicable action. Act. Or act. It's time for us to get rid of him and replace him with someone more suited to the job of the wartime leader. One of the senators from Naboo, Sheev Palpatine. Ooh, seems like a good choice. Sheev did nothing wrong. Ah, <sighs> yes, please. And we have no voting on the Senate floor, so which is good. Ah, mechanical computing and other stuff, too. Nice. Uh, extraction. Uh, that's a little bit ahead of time for this stuff. A little bit, so let's wait a little bit. And we can do that one next. And this stuff is probably way too ahead of time. Yep. Air reduction. Naval stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't... These are interceptors. And these are fighters, so... I'm guessing the fighters are probably better improved hyperdrive. Seems pretty cool. Tactical bombers. Grab some of that, and grab some of that, too. Upgrade whatever we got, right? Is there any way we can make more money? This is a gentleman. Stability and war sport goes... Ooh. Naval theorist. Tarkin's here already. 10%. Ten these guys give you exactly the same buff, so it doesn't really matter. I'll probably go with Tarkin, because who, who doesn't love Tarkin? Manufacturers look okay. Naval manufacturer looks okay as well. Uh, a small... Oh, look at this. Volunteer force... Small size force, medium size force, cool. Ooh, export focus. Do we get any more money this way? Limited exports, maybe. We also have partial mobilization. We do not want to go to war economy. Pad my. Eh, we'll see what happens. Transition of power. 
voted on confidence and promises of peace. We are further from secession, closer to secession. Humanitarian crisis on Ryloff. Cost 150. Oh, crap. Denounce war crimes in our ranks. The Jedi Order. We can do them. Why not? That seems like a pretty good idea. We're still losing money every single day. Gosh dang it. I don't, I don't know what to do about that. I don't want to go into debt. And where's the GDP mechanic? Where's the uh, GDP growth and where's the interest on the debt? We're we can't even make divisions. Can we just train? We should be able to train, right? Yeah, there we go. Cool. And we're currently making what? Now, I've been told that you need to buy, like, those armaments. That's where we have the option to buy stuff. So, I'm not really sure how that works. At least at the time of this recording. So, um, we'll buy stuff as soon as we possibly can. But, losing one... Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Look at it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Thank you, my dads. That's awesome. He's too old to be trained. Uh, the Chosen One? Of course, we gotta choose him. But, let's go and do Promises of Peace. With the efforts of the recently concluded Naboo Crisis sending shockwaves throughout the galaxy, many of our citizens are anxious to stay out of an open conflict with the Trade Federation. We must assure them that we are doing all we can to avoid war. Very good. The Galactic Republic. Oh yeah, people are definitely moving around here, which is fine. And then, laws and government, nothing so... Well, we have 34 members, okay. Still no voting, which is fine with us. This beautiful pictures, man. Phase 1 clone, clone commanders. Phase 2 clones, stormtrooper armor. I love, I love clone armor, man. I really do. Rule summary? Okay. Very cool. So, training, 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 training. We're going to need as much as possible. Go and duplicate that and train some more. After promises of peace, reduce military spending. Ooh, five million a day. Is that good? We are spending too much credits on the military, and the other parts of the Republic are seeing the results. We must cut spending if the people of the Republic are to enjoy basic rights. Basic rights? What? We need more money, though. I don't want to do that. Repeal. Uh -huh. I don't want to cut the budget. Usually, I'm all for cutting the budgets, but... I don't know, man. Engineer oh, engineers are usually pretty good to grab. We might want to get these guys. I promise us the peace. And reduce military spending. Fine. Fine. So be it. So be it. Because we're losing so much every single day. Total debt, zero million. I probably made a wrong call by doing that, but whatever. Um, war crimes? I mean, war crimes are only crimes if you get caught. You know, it is what it is. Light attack fighter models. Very cool. Very cool. And I've got that stuff done. Um, I usually don't like using interceptors land stuff. So this is all for the tech tree, which is not a lot, but let's do some of that. And it looks like we're still using horses here. Mounted infantry breakthrough. Look at infantry equipment one. Very cool. Very awesome. And, oh crap, mobile infantry. So basically a motorized. And we have speeder bikes. Armor. Tanks. Ooh, let's get some better artillery, maybe. Motor upgrades, why not? Cool, what else do we have? Uh, extinction class, bombers, RLX class, tactical strike fighters, model 250 fighters, awesome, awesome. We are out of aluminum, so we might actually want to trade with for maybe one for now. As well, eh, you know, screw it, get two. T1 hurt us that much, right? 20, 20, and one, that's awesome. We got a lot of credits, holy crap. If that's the case, let's go and get Tarkin. Yeah, I'll go with Tarkin. Nice. Very good. How's our Navy looking, too? Looking pretty good. We got a lot of task forces, but that doesn't mean they're any good. Oh, we reduced my military spending. Oh, wait, what? Wait. Tax to Overlord. Minus five. Reduce the budget by five million. It says, now you lose 6.2 million every single day. What the heck? The Chosen One, despite it going against the rules and traditions of the Jedi Council, it is obvious that Anakin Skywalker is the Chosen One of the Great Prophecy, and must be trained. May the Force be with him, and may he bring balance to it and the galaxy. What the heck? Why do we... It said it would, it would reduce the, the military budget. What the heck? That's got to be a bug in the game or something. That makes literally no sense. Aha! Why? What the heck? It says reduce the budget by 5 million credits. Well, I guess... No, I guess it... Wait, what? Reduce the budget by 5 million. Huh. But it says reduce military spending. So that should reduce military spending so you have more money. Oh my goodness. Right, our transition to power. Now that Palpatine has been officially confirmed by the Senate, it is time for the people to see our new Chancellor. He's already showing all the marks of a strong, true, and charismatic leader and will have a positive impact on our citizens' morale. Nothing can go wrong with Palpatine. What a true man. A true leader for the Republic. And anything on the, Nope. No voting. No money. 
Oh wait, we got more money that way. We, we're 960 now? We also got more money that way, huh? Oh, is it because of this one? Shroud of Darkness? Keep us the peace warriors of the Republic. The Jedi Order will support our efforts in the war against the Separatists. Keep, will not support a war. Demilitarize the Order. J Jedi General Program. Okay, Generalship Program. The Great Jedi Purge. Ooh, very nice. Repeal Rusan. Sends the repeal of the Rusan to be voted on. Rally the Core Worlds. Invest in the Core. 10% construction bonus for, for a year. Grant financial aid to Core Industries. Choose a Vice Chair. Anti-corruption campaign. Ooh, yeah, I'll do that one. Under the chancellors leading up to including Valorum, the Senate and its surrounding bureaucracy has grown more and more corrupt. This is killing our economy, our ability to pass legislature, and the people's faith in us. We need to investigate shady dealings in the Senate. It's going to cost us 50 million crisps, but it's okay. We get more political power and more stability, and daily corruption cost is reduced. What is the corruption cost? Corruption cost is minus 10 million a day. Oh my goodness, that'll be good. That'll be really good to get rid of. So what do we spend our PP on? Those are gentlemen. I don't want to lower our war support anymore. It's really bad. Any more stability wouldn't be bad. Military high command. Ooh, infantry expert. Kit Fisto. I love Mr. Fitto. Fitzo. Kisto. Mr. Green dude. That's not too bad. Nice. Good stuff. And let's see. I'll grab some of that. And we'll grab some of this. And let's see what else we have. Support companies would be nice. We've got some engineers coming along. Some land spears we have done. Land auction is going to come along. Nice. Very cool. Basic infantry equipment. Thank you. I do need to keep some of our PP though. Hmm. It's looking so bad. So bad. Senate Guard Commando Initiative. Judicial Police Reforms. Let's use a Vice Chair. With Palpatine secure in his role as Chancellor, it's time to select a Vice Chair. It seems that there are only three options. Mas Amida, who is popular with the Core Planets, Orn Frita, an influential Outer Rim Senator from Ryloth, and Aang, who may see many see as a Dark Horse candidate. We'll probably go with the Core Worlds. We're very biased here. Incredibly biased. Too biased, probably. I love the gong droid. Gong? Gonk? I can't remember. Uh, research. There's not a lot of things we can research, but that's okay. I would like to get better Navy stuff, but we are limited because of this stupid treaty here. Uh, naval restrictions. Ah! So we're kind of forced to choose either this one or this one. Now, I, I didn't realize this, and it's going to bring up. Do you see that sur surface detection? 250? Or surface visibility? No, it's surface visibility. 300 compared to to 10 here, this will always get spotted, which I don't always want to get spotted, so that's why I went with this one. Build these ones up a whole bunch more. I don't want to get spotted. That'd be quite bad. Quite horrible, actually. We do. We could create an intelligence agency. How are we looking here? Minus 1 million? That's not too bad. We need to choose a vice chair. 2026. Not bad. And we'll go with choose a chief of staff. Now that a vice chair has been selected, it's time to look at the candidates for chief of staff. Sly Moore, the Umbaran, seems to be the front runner, while Bail Organ is being pushed by the more pacifist-minded advisors to the Chancellor. Also in the running is Jar Jar Binks, because no one could disable, maim, or kill him before he signed the candidate candidacy form. Nice. Choose the vice chair. Uh, let's see. Core Worlds, on Free Ta. Not bad. Pushed further from succession, Aang. Mas Amida. Yeah, why not? Actually, um, well, it's kind of hard to tell who's where, what, which, where, but that's okay. Pantara, Ryloth, whatever. Oh, and updated. Cool. After the form of the Chief of Staff, I'm not sure this is the right way to go, but found the Loyalist Committee. In the aftermath of the new crisis, separatist propaganda and sentiment is cropping up all over the space lanes. Not only is this the utter, no utter, utter nonsense, it could also pose a real risk to our strength and stability if left unchecked. Creating a committee to deal with such problems is in our best interest. Oh crap, what is this? Oh wow, 600 million some? Wow, that's... Okay, now we have a thousand. Look at that, now we get a thousand. 7.7 million per day, not bad. 1,012. Not bad. I kind of like that. That's looking okay. not terrible now. Let's do it. I want more civvies. Build, build, build the crap out of these civvies right now because we got a lot to build. After this, Control Separatist Sanctions Act. Send it to be voting voted on the Republic Senate. Corporations will be pushed closer to secession. Increase Police Powers Actions. Dangerous Ideas Act. Oh, yes. Industrial center sector of Kruskin. I kind of want to do that one, but it seems like this stuff can all be done later on. We're not having... Oh, crisis. Oh. A technological plateau. Oh, I kind of want to do this one first then. We'll go to here and then go there so we can get that extra research slot. That would be probably really, really good to do. Now, can we do this next stuff yet? Yes, we can. Oh, whoops. It is already XL976. So my bad. I was not looking and paying attention to time too much. 
Nice. The Loyalist Committee. Absolutely. Everyone must be loyal to us. I don't remember what year and month that the Civil War kicked off, but gotta love it. Got to love it. Alderaan. Ah, uh, yes. So this is the entire map. It, it's it's not it's not that large, but I'm totally okay with that. It, it, it's fairly large, I'd say. Actually, it's, it's it's fairly large, but it doesn't seem that large. So, and you know, I love that the mod devs did it so that it shows you this is the deep core, this is the mid rim, and this is where the outer rim is. Because for someone like me who really loves Star Wars, I really knew exactly what the where the outer rim was. But this is actually really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. So, if the devs are watching, thank you very much. It looks like we're making a little bit more money now, which is nice, 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 nice. But then we've got to increase research center funding. The Republic is already home to some of the most advanced research facilities in the galaxy. And we already have strong connections with their leading scientists. Granting them more funding will lead to benefits for us, them, and the Republic as a whole. And remove technological uh, restrictions. Or uh, decay or plateau. Get 10% more research speed, so not too bad. Up next, industrial technologies. Resources would not be bad. Renovate the lo lower levels. Nice. Cool, got some more fighters. Or, we can do that. Uh, construction speed, yeah. That'd be good. I love construction speed. And we get a fifth research slot, which is, I'd say, quite quite bueno. Now, I'm saving these acts just for a little bit. Crackdown on corruption? Yeah, that would actually be really, really good to do. Daily corruption costs reduced. Um, I guess we'll go down here next. Senate Guard Command Initiative. In response to rising tensions and increasing levels of public unrest on Coruscant, we have begun looking for ways to further protect our Chancellor and politicians. Another unit of soldiers trained specifically for the task should do the trick. And we got more focuses down here, so... Yeah, this would be good. This would be very good. And look at that. We have even more money. 1430? Nice. What keeps going up? Tax to Overlord, huh? Corruption cost went down again. Wow, we got 600 more. Look at that. Well, how, how often do we get money then? Because I know we're building up a lot, a lot of funds, but it seems like we're getting even more money, and I'm not sure from where. 7.7 .7 million every day, but you lose so many credits every day as well, so... Huh. I, I'm, I am confusion. It's a little hard to read, this mod, I'll be honest, but that's okay. You know, it's it's worth it to play a Star Wars mod, so... Especially regarding the Clone Wars. Ooh. Oh, we can't build it because we... Ah. Ray. So if that's the case, this one's outdated already, so goodbye. Nice. Um, we need a little bit more aluminum, but other than that, we're doing. I think we're doing quite well. So after this one, we're gonna jump down to judicial police reforms. It seems that our police aren't well equipped to deal with large-scale civilian disturbances like the ones we've been experiencing lately. We need to reform the rules and guidelines to ensure that they have a smooth relationship with the people of the Republic, in which we get less damage to garrisons and more stability. Actually, I'm not looking at garrisons at all. No, no, nothing here really. So that's, that's okay with us. At least we have a diminished internal corruption, which is nice. And infrastructure development bill. Uh, it says we don't have anything in development. Well, we have nothing there yet. Button here. Senate Guard Initiative. Very cool. And thank you. And crack down on corruption. That'll be good. Our initial investigations into Senate corruption have paid off, and we're ready to act on them. This will go a long way towards reducing crime and increasing people's trust in us. Cost 50 million credits, but at this point, we're looking pretty good. We lose 0.525 million credits every day. And daily corruption cost is reduced and remove and diminished internal cup corruption. So, you get more political power and stability. What's not to love? What's not to love? Synthetic resources? Why not? Cool. This is all looking very good. Shipyard output would be probably good to do, but let's grab some more research. Speed it is 977. Ooh, infrastructure and investment. Uh, let's keep doing this one. Cost doesn't matter. We have, what, 20, almost 25,000 million? There's really weird to say, but whatever. Oh. There you go. Cool. One, two, almost three full lines ready to go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Maybe we should be doing this a little bit more. There you go. And crack down on corruption. Good. Chancellorship elections. Oh, crap. I maybe want to try a voting thing here. So, a Shroud of Darkness. Hmm. Technology, technology. Dangerous Ideas Act. Power police actions. Ah, oh, let's do some dangerous ideas act. Why not? Despite our best efforts, large portions of the Republic are becoming ever more hostile to the Coruscant and the Senate. We need to take drastic action in the form of the Dangerous Ideas Act before this gets any worse. And although it won't gain us any friends, it certainly will lead, lead to less enemies out in the open. Which means they're just meeting in the shadows. More output? Why not? Why not? This mod runs pretty smooth, I'd say, so far. 
Construction 2, good. Give me Construction 3, great, great, great. So, obviously, I'm not super well versed with it, but we're pushing on pretty darn quickly, I'd say. Pretty darn quickly. We're better off or worse. Train until you're done. Basically, until you die. Crackdown on corruption. Dangerous ideas. Pacifists will be pushed closer to secession, and militaries will be pushed from secession. Alright. Take out a loan? No. Pay out all loans. Well, we don't have any loans, though. So. Actually, at this point, Corvettes? Uh, I'm not really sure. Dreadnoughts? We cannot place an order. Because they're out of stock. They have some, but we can't purchase this either. Uh, wait, 26... Oh, wait, actually. We're actually making money now. Look at that. 4.67 million every single day. Um, place order, maybe? Oh! Whoa, we just get research. Okay. That is... Huh. Alright. Well then. How about down here? Headhunter? Place order. Fighters. Fighter CVs. Oh, we have no carriers though. I love I love the L double A T gunship. That looks, I love it so much. So we need to increase our technology level. It's currently on. Okay, see Z95 headhunters. Cool. So in that one is Z95 headhunters. I don't see it around here. Must be extra tech or something. Oh, we got enough credits for it, so that's fine with us. Cool. Infrastructure. Oh, tech increase. Oh, how do we do this one? We need it. Let's go. So we got that one. Lobby, we're not voting on anything yet. No missions from him yet. Open the stuff? No? Well, not too bad. Pretty good so far. Fuel storage is very nice. Let's grab some of those two. Thank you. Close out of that. And we have tech levels. This is CIS tech level. Level 1. It's hard to tell, but just I thought it was just bars, but it's just level 1. So if we increase ourselves, we probably will. No voting yet. 165 members. Totally fine. I want a bounty hunter. So what does bounty hunters do? Like... Oh, you get him as a general, maybe? Is this Bosk? Nice. Greedo, of course. Cool. Dangerous Ideas Act. Very cool. Crackdown on university students. Passed. Ooh, well, I'm going to do one act at a time. So, let's go and do Repeal Rusan. Voted on. And no. Pacifists. Push further from. Let's do this one. Ah, seems like okay to do. And which one is the voting one? Wait, there's no voting in the council? Oh, we can do this one. Well, okay, so we need to do the focus, then we can start doing this. Okay, that's that's cool. Sort of vote on the Dangerous Idea Act. Why not? So, right now, the Senate, Republic Senate is voting currently voting on the Dangerous Idea Act. For the voting to be successful, a two-thirds majority is needed. The vote of the leader of the Galactic Republic in voting counts as three. The involved parties target and the initiator in order to vote. Currently, zero votes for sanctions and zero votes against. If this vote is successful, the Council of the Galactic Republic will, according to the current status, impose the following type of sanction, trade sanctions. Vote yes. Six votes for, three against. Well, let's see what we can do anything against this. Um, abstaining, oh boy. We have a lot of PB for this, so. Um, is there any easier way to see who votes yes and no? We can't vote because we already voted for sanctions. There are three against us. Seven against three. Twelve days remaining. Um. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that one. Eight, three. Come on. Nine, f ten, four. Come on, guys. You know you want to do it. You know you want to do it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Zero days remaining. Ne ne negative two? Alright. Dangerous Pact asked. I love democracy. Oh, yes, please. The Republic Senate has passed the Dangerous Ideas Act. Interesting. Ah, oh, very good. Oh, that's a Senate, but where is the uh, alignment? Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. We're not ready to kill each other yet. Oh, Doc? Where is that? Dac? Oh, not a Dac, but Dac. Oh, are you... DAC and CIS. Okay, cool. 
So we'll do that one. And let's go ahead and do chancellorship. No. Let's do increase police powers actions. Closer to succession militaries will like that. Well, that looks really fun. A secret police organization? Let's do this in Corporate Separatist Sanctions Act. Much of the problems related to civilian disturbance and unrest are being mirrored in, if not caused by, large corporations who think they'll make more money if they secede from the Republic. Not only is this false, it's also something we need to deal with before it gets out of control. Or out of our control, really. We're increasing your tech. They're increasing theirs first, which is not great, but it is what it is. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, guys, if you understand it yourself. This whole buying thing, like, I don't mind buying stuff. We're looking... Not too bad on money. 22 is not too bad, but... Um, yeah, totally let me know in the comments below. Because then we can unlock this stuff, which would be nice. Um, heavy cruisers are nice. You know, I love Acclimator class. Especially, I love the Venator class. Oh, I love these two so much. Especially this one. I love the design. I lo I've always preferred over this Imperial Star Destroyers, but, you know. These are, these are some big ships. I like this one. I like it. It's got a big tip. We like big tips here, don't we? I don't know. Hmm. Construction? 20, 20, 20. Yep, it's not enough. Wow, look at these guys. What is this? Lower succession points. Sure, why not? I didn't know that was possible. Okay, so I should really pay attention to that. Um, you're part of the CIS. That's fine. Does this do too much? You only do it one at a time, which is fine, but... Not really sure to spend my... Pe oh. oh. Alright, well, whatever. And let's see. We got that one done. Shep yards would be nice. Let's get some of that stuff, too. Is there anywhere else we can go ahead and lower succession points and such? Construction 3. Construction 3. Cool. Succession is okay as long as my group is the one looking good, right? Land auction. Land speeders are done. And that's a little bit ahead of time. Recon. Military police maintenance. Let's go with recon. Let's do that one. We can't even edit our divisions, right? So, yeah. Which can't even train new things. Ah! Competing machine. Let's grab... Not that one yet. Better radar, why not? Taurus. There you go. Cool. And we're gonna do Denise War Crimes. Oh, I don't want I don't know if I want to do that. Shroud of Darkness. A veil has fallen over our ability to foresee what may happen in the future or even what is occurring on distant planets. This can only mean one thing. Somewhere, somehow, a powerful Sith Lord is acting against us from the shadows. Who could it be? Who could it be? So there's, there's that, and then... Yes, there's us. Um, where's that button to see where we can vote on stuff? Let's see. There's so many buttons here, man. There's a bounty. No debt for us. No debt. Oh, here we go. Corporate sanctions? Two against one, two against two. Ooh. Lob can we lobby the corporations to lobby against their own interests? We can try it. <laughs> uh, what do they say? Vote yes. Nice. 13 and 7? Come on, guys. Uh, I think we're going to get it. Alderaan says no. A lot of Duro does as well, huh? Cool. We're going to try to pass as many of those as we possibly can. Let's try to get some Dockyard up to Gelden, too. Why not? And... Ah, the Corporate Sanctions Act is passed. Interesting. Great. So after that one, let's go and do some more voting stuff. Restore the Executive Branch. Yeah, let's do that one. Chancellor, uh, Chancellorship Elections. Although Chancellor Palpatine's only been in office for a short time, nevertheless, it is time for an election once again. However, due to his tremendous popularity and success at navigating recent crises, it's expected that he wins in a landslide if any dare to run against him. Stability and political power? Sign us up. Sign us up, my friends. I love voting when it always works in our favor. Gal galactic outstanding debt. Yeah, no debt would be great for us. We have 25,000, which we're not, or 25, 2,500, whatever. We need more money. We could always use more money. Hey, look, we're looking pretty darn good. Looking pretty darn good. Palpatine, can we have some missions? I love some missions, man. Level 1 tech. Can we, oh, looking closer. Awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and do it. Restore the executive branch. We can executive branch? Why not? And then protect it from the Emperor. Gung Gunga Nation and Naboo will be pushed further from secession the investigation. Attempted assassination on Padme Amidala. Obi-Wan. Okay, so we're taking a while to do all this stuff. Declares one Genosis. Oh, crap. Military Creation Pact. Act. Deploy the newly acquired clone army to Geonosis. I'm sorry, it's taking a while to do. Just There's so much stuff to here to do. Increase police powers. I want to do that one. I really do. 
Radar? Let's get some more radar then. I know this is not in order, but whatever. Um, Shroud of Darkness. Warriors of the Republic. Yeah, I'll probably do that one. Judicial Reform. Strengthen your Supreme Chancellor. Senate Reform. Reduces the powers granted to the Republic Senate in order to strengthen your Supreme Chancellor. I'm going to wait for that a little bit. Um, hmm. Crackdown University students. We can wait on that. Repeal Rusan. Core Worlds. Um, grant financial aid to core industries. Nice. A diplomatic solution. Food and aid. Denounce war crimes. Repeal Rusan. I want to keep going down this way. Senate reform. Why not? 39 days. Not too bad. And maybe we'll end with... Oh. Tech level increase. Yeah, that's fine. And maybe we'll do one more focus. And we'll just finish it off here. Judicial reform. Reduce the powers granted to the judicial courts of the Republican order to strengthen your Supreme Chancellor. Emergency powers. Well, I think we'll do protection for the Senator, which will be good to do next. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as I will read a lot of your comments and figure what we're going to do next. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.